Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Greetings, a strong name of Jesus. I'm Andrew Mary Black Evangelist. I'm here today on Acre Lane. I'm giving away these flyers all over Acre Lane today. Uh, I'm giving away dozens by the glory of God. From Chelsea, we gave out 150,000 flyers in Chelsea, all over Chelsea. Uh, nice bridge. And uh, Kensington and Chelsea, we gave away flyers there. So, today we are campaigning against racism. This is the evil of England. God says to the British, come, let us reason. Do your sins be as red as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Do your sins be as red as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Uh, this is Acre Lane here, and it's a racist place. So we're here to just let the white men know that we cannot get away from racism. Do your sins be as rare as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. The next scripture is from Psalm 32 verse 8. God says, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with my eye, with my eyes. God said he will instruct thee. God gives instructions. I will instruct you and guide you and teach you in the way that you should go. He will guide you with his eye. You see, God is not dead. The Bible declares that uh, those who seek God must believe that God exists and he's a rewarder of those who honestly seek him. Those who come to God must know that God exists and he is a rewarder of those who earnestly seek him. Hey, what's your idea about racism? Have you so far racism here? Come and talk to us. Okay, praise God. I'm Andrew with my black evangelist. Today I'm here uh, on Acre Lane. Acre Lane is in London. Oh, this is Acre Lane here. Hey Colin, today we are marching against racism and evil disease that have taken over England. Um, God says, come let us reason. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Come let us reason. Racism is an evil sin. It leads to murder. A lot of people have been killed in this town. Joy Gardner was murdered here. The tie of masking tape around her nose. The white man did that. Wash her in her bed. They crept in her house and killed her. Stephen Lawrence was also murdered. Black man was murdered by seven uh, white people. I must say I suffer a lot of racism. A lot of black people in this country, in London, England, are suffering racism. So we have to put this evil to, to, to rest. That's why we're out here today. Racism is evil. We don't want it in England. God has ordained me to be the first black prime minister of England, and these are our campaign videos. So we are we are we are on Acre Lane today, just producing our program. The next scripture I'm going to read to you is from the book of. Are you enjoying this? Subscribe to this channel. I'm Andy Lumet. We have music on YouTube or subscribe to it and share with your friends. And I'm also on SoundCloud, Andy Lumel. God says in Lamentations, Lamentations, Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22 says, Lamentation 3:22. God says this. It is of the Lord's mercies that you are not consumed because his compassion fail not. They are new every morning, great is thy faithfulness. The compassion of God are new every morning, great is thy faithfulness. Great says the compassion of God are new every morning, great is thy faithfulness. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hey, hey, peace to you. I'm Andy Lumet, a black evangelist. Today I'm here at Acre Lane. We are marching against racism, that evil disease. Uh, we're trying to tell the English to stop their racism. Racism is evil. We don't want it in this country. We don't want racism here. 
If you have suffered racism, uh, leave a comment in this box and we'll pray for you. We will contact uh, the proper authorities and let them know that you are suffering racism. Racism. We don't want racism here. Ah, Lord God, thou hast made the heavens and the earth by your outstretched arms. Nothing is too difficult for Jesus. Nothing is too difficult for you. Oh, great and mighty God, great in counsel and mighty indeed. Mighty indeed, nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing, nothing is too difficult for Jesus. Ah, Lord God, thou hast made the heavens and the earth by your great power. Ah, Lord God, thou hast made the heavens and the earth by your outstretched hands. Nothing is too difficult for Jesus. Nothing is too difficult for you. Oh, great and mighty God, great in counsel and mighty, mighty indeed. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. Nothing is too difficult for Jesus. Nothing is too difficult for you, Jesus. Nothing is too difficult for you. Oh, great and mighty God, great in counsel and mighty indeed, mighty indeed. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. Nothing is too difficult for you. Thou hast made the heavens and the earth by your great power. Our oh Lord God, thou hast made the heavens and the earth by your outstretched arms. No mighty indeed, nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing, nothing is to be called for Jesus. Uh, Lord, hello, you like one of these? Turn away from your sins. A kingdom of heaven has come to you. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. This promise is unto you and your generations to come. Jesus began to preach, repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come to you. I am Andy Lumer. Today I'm here on Acre Lane in Brixton, South London, presenting my program about racism. Stop racism. Stop racism. God hates racism. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop racism. Stop it. Stop racism. Stop racism. Stop, stop racism. Nothing is too difficult for you. Nothing is too difficult for Jesus. Oh, great and mighty God. Great in counsel for God. Hello. What? Have you suffered racism before? Always. Come and tell me something. One minute. Huh? Ah. <clears throat> We are marching against racism today and I'm asking people if they have suffered racism. You know, what, what have you suffered? How did you suffer? I suffered racism in different forms from people spitting on me, and on the, on the tube. White people? Yeah, yeah. And Jesus. I was in Piccadilly Circus on a night out. Ouch. And I was getting on the tube uh -huh. with my friends. Yes. And then someone said, hey, it's not one, here's one of them. And then just looked at me and spat in my face. Yeah, so that's just one example. You know, that's really bad though. Yeah, well that was a blatant, blatant one. One I don't like is when it's insidious. Yeah. When they say it's not racism. But 
Apart from that one, that one in the, in the train? Yeah, that was the most overt one. One is like, well, could you say it's racism? So I went to the shop yeah. and they said they were closing. So they shut the door and said, this is <laughs> And then a white woman got out of her Land Rover mm -hmm. and went to the shop and that opened up the door for her. Oh. And now they were in the shop. So I'm like, I pushed up myself after her because I said, you can't be doing that. Right. But he wasn't very happy about that. So it's I mean, maybe I don't understand the concept. I don't understand how that's possible. Yes. And I'm talking about from a company director <coughs> position. So when you're talking with other people on a certain level, uh -huh. they're not always feeling you've got the same knowledge. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, shopping. If you if I've experienced something, mm -hmm. go to the shop at the Indian shop mm -hmm. and you're about to buy something, you add the candle and then the, the white man comes from behind you mm -hmm. and he gets served. Have you seen this before? That's happened, but I think that will put my mouth more. I don't understand why I left it. If I see something, I'm not going to, because I'd have to question, why would you do that? Yeah, oh, but sometimes I question them. Yeah. This, this, uh, uh, but racism is rampant. I mean, I didn't expect that in South London. I'm from Chelsea. And then that's a uh, white era. Mm. But when I come here, and the same thing is here. So I thought this is a place for black people. against each other okay. and it's not really about whether you're that colour or this colour it's how the country is being managed so if the government so they benefit from the people quarrelling among themselves of course what does it always say united we stand divided we fall <laughs> alright my name is Andy Lume. this is the, the I have the, the, oh, right, the, the, the music okay. website now. Okay. Good, good that you were able to come That's forward nice. and, and just encourage and what will you tell people who are suffering from racism and what what should they do? I mean somebody show up. I think you should always speak up. I think you should find support, speak to family, friends. Yeah. There's lots of services online. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just let people know. As you say, be active. Mm -hmm. Let people know. Okay, so you want you want to tell them to stop racism? All right. This is supposed to with me. Just just speak to somebody who's about to be racist to black people. Tell them to stop. It's not okay. It's not cool. We are all the same underneath our skin. So please think. You wouldn't want that to be done to anybody you know. The hurt, the misery, and the pain. Stop racism. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name now? Huh? What's your name? Lady Penelope, trust me radio. <laughs> Small radio. Trust me radio, internet radio. Okay. Yeah, peace, so peace to you, okay? Peace to one of the Praise the Lord, I'm under the map. We are talking to people about racism, this evil disease here. Yeah, that lady there from the a radio station just been talking to us about her experience, how she was spat on on the train by some white people. We think racism is evil. This should stop. We don't want it. Yet. Hello, sir. Okay, I'm about to log off today. My name is Daniel Lume, the Black Evangelist, saying God bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine on you and give you peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Ah, Lord God.